Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna talk about the iFootage Komodo K7 Fluid Head. This thing is a beast. It's heavy duty, premium, extremely well built, and works great for various camera systems from medium to large. It works great on tripods, on car mount systems. If you're shooting wildlife and you're using big, heavy, long lenses, it's gonna do the job for pretty much anything you put on this fluid head. It has a max weight capacity of about 15 pounds, has aluminum alloy construction, has a counterbalance system with four steps, has independent pan and tilt drag and locks, can be tilted 90 degrees to negative 70 degrees, has 360 pan, has an integrated bubble level, and weighs just a little over four pounds. So right now I have the monopod on a fluid head, and right now obviously it looks a little ridiculous because the monopod is so thin. The base of the tripod is 90 millimeters diameter, and so this definitely goes better with a bigger tripod, but right now my tripod is being used to film this video. All right, so let's take a closer look at the K7. This thing is a tank, extremely well built, heavy duty, very solid, definitely made for bigger tripods, but this thing can handle a lot of weight and it functions extremely well. Now, obviously you can mount the handle here or on here, whichever side you prefer. The bottom has a flat base with a 92 millimeter diameter and a 3 8 inch thread. On the back, it does have a bubble level towards the bottom. On the left side, you have a quick release button for the quick release plate. You have the tilt lock, a resistance knob for tilting, and the pan lock. On the left, there's also a 3 8 inch screw. Now this is to be used with the quick release plate if you're gonna be mounting a camera that has a 3 8 inch mount. But also if you do end up needing to mount some type of accessory on a 3 8 inch mount, then you can actually use this for that as well. Now on the right side, you actually have another mount here. And this one's for the quarter inch 20 screw, again, for the quick release plate. And you can use this if you need to mount some type of accessory as well. Now, I really love the design on how the quick release plate system works here. You have a buckle lock that's very known in iFootage products, which actually works really well. And then to take off the quick release plate, you press this button in and then it just pops off. You don't need to slide it in or slide it out. You can easily just place it here, press that button down, drop it in, let go, and then it does stay locked here. You can slide it back and forth, but it won't come out. And then when you have it where you want it, then you can go ahead and just lock it with the buckle lock. And then at the back of the quick release plate, you do have this little rubberized cover, which keeps the screws from falling out. Now back on the right, it does have a counterweight knob, and then you do have a knob here for the resistance of the pan. And then on the front, underneath the quick release plate, there is a little magnetic area to store this Allen wrench for safekeeping. Now this Allen wrench is used to tighten up the buckle lock in case it ever starts to get loose or if you just need it a little tighter for your quick release plate. With the buckle locked, you go ahead and put this in and then you can tighten it up a little bit more. And like I mentioned, it is magnetic, so you just go ahead and put it there and then it doesn't fall. I pretty much love everything about this fluid head. It works really well, beautifully designed. Everything's pretty much flawless except for the resistance knobs. The only issue that I have with them is that they actually go in opposite directions. So this is the resistance knob for the tilt. To make it less resistant, you actually rotate it forward and then the tilt moves a lot easier. But to make the pan less resistant, you have to actually pull it back instead of forward. So sometimes when I'm trying to do it quick, I forget that they go in opposite directions. The good thing is that they do have little symbols here showing you which direction that they need to go for plus or minus. And it's clearly indicated that they are opposite. I don't know why it wouldn't be possible just to have them both go in the same direction. It's really not a big deal, just a slight annoyance. Now the handle does have a rubberized grip at the end, making it a little bit more comfortable. And there is a lock here to be able to extend it a lot longer. And then when you loosen the screw here, not only can you change the angle, but also you can obviously rotate this 360 degrees so you can have it in whatever angle is best for your wrist. So there you guys have it. That's the iFootage Komodo K7 Fluid Head. And I actually really love this. I highly recommend it. If you're interested in getting it, it does retail for about 360 US dollars. And I do have links for it in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.